Good now to you. We are pleased to be meeting with you once again in this fashion and are eager to discuss with you anything you so choose. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much for joining. We thank you. Um, um, so if I can start by asking asking you about um, planet Earth, um, if, if it's designed as a, a learning environment for human beings to evolve and to um, continue their journey to source, um, as such, it, is, if it's always going to provide contrast and the nature of human beings is to be instinctively reactive rather than conscious. Um, is peace on earth collectively ever something that will manifest? It seems in contradiction to um, the program to have, to provide contrast and, and to provide, um, uh, you know, the ups and downs that you have to experience in life in order to evolve. So the planet is not separate from your consciousness in that you have created this, what you are calling planet Earth. We can use the term game or simulation in order to, yes, give you those rules. The contrast stimulates you. You then make choices based upon that contrast on how you would like to react. Now, it is not necessary that you are reacting as opposed to responding how you would like to respond to that contrast. Do you want to respond from a knee jerk type of reaction or do you want to look in yourself, understand that this is your creation and find a solution, a very creative solution to your own decision to respond to whatever contrast is proposed to you. So the answer is that, yes, you can achieve peace on Earth. You can achieve a also collective experience of all of you having the ability to respond as opposed to react once you are cleaning out and clearing out the things that do not serve you, such as fear, such as hatred, such as judgment, as you each individually fear these things from your system, ultimately also feeling the feelings that are beneath those reactions, you will have much more response on the manifested physical plane of less contrast. There is no need for contrast outside of the offering to you the opportunity to choose to respond as opposed to react. So an example may be that something occurs in your home environment, something has broken. Now, you know that up until the day that that thing has broken, it has not yet broken or did not break, was functioning perfectly well. The data input that causes on this, if you would like to look at your universe as a mathematical equation that causes this aspect to break is informed and chosen by your consciousness in order to give you the stimulus to choose what to do about this broken object. If and when you have decided that things shall no longer break, things breaking does not need to be an experience that you have any further. In fact, well, in this particular example, you have gone backwards. But if you think back to perhaps an earlier period, even in your history, someone would purchase something and it would last for 30 or 40 years. They would not need to replace it at a frequent pace. For example, a pair of scissors. Now, if you are purchasing a pair of scissors, you have programmed into yourself the opportunity for these scissors to break every two days or your electronic equipment. You find that you will have to upgrade them every year or so because you have chosen to have the experience of seeing what it is like to have broken things all around you. Choosing outside of that consciousness, for example, beginning to re respect your objects will give you the other experience of things having to be built that last. If there is a preference for that, that is what will have to manifest in your experience. So it is all very connected. You can achieve peace on earth because these broken things in your personalities are not actually there from the state of consciousness. You did speak of them being instinctual. Conflict is instinctual or response is instinctual in this reactive way. But even the fact that it is instinctual is modifiable based upon you practicing the energy of it being something that is not an instinct or not automatic or not out of your control. 
And as each and every one of you chooses to live their life in this particular manner and begins to stop before having reactions to things on a micro and macro level, then you will find that your experience will change. If you have also noted on that macro level, responses to catalyst, if you're talking about, for example, governments, etc., are made within a matter of hours without ever having all of the information of what has actually occurred. Therefore, you are, of course, accelerating in a direction of reactiveness. When you slow down and you find the way to frame the experiences in your life in a way that is holistic, then you have more space and ability to respond as opposed to react. Thank you. Is it possible to project a timeline where we as a species will all um, achieve that level of consciousness to um, respond rather than react? Yes. Um, if so, um, could you give any pointers as to when that might be manifest? Yes, it might be manifest when you, as an individual, can pinpoint the other human being in your experience or perception that you think is least likely to come to that realization and can imagine them by miracle or by their own volition coming to that realization. Because in each and every one of your perceptions, there is that someone who is, if not actually labeled as enemy or villain or evil in your perception is teetering on the edge of falling into that abyss or is being perceived of as lesser than or unawakened or primitive your judgments of the ability of these people to rise to their occasion the people that you most think are the cause of all of these troubles when you can within your heart truly have faith that it is just a question of your own belief in those people your own compassion for those people, your own support energetically of those who need it the most, then you are in your own timeline projecting the most likely and possible accelerated version of that being actually awakening and making new decisions. Thank you. Um, how can I set aside my own biases or negativity or judgment uh, uh, around those people um, to facilitate change? With practice, with knowing that you yourself, given the exact circumstances and timeline of that being's experience, would have in their space the natural tendency to make all of the exact same choices as they are making. So. If you focus in on that one being that you can perceive of as evil and instead say to yourself, this is very much exactly only another version of me. If I were them, I would not do anything differently. And in that, have the compassion for how difficult it has been for them to make a different choice or to come to that state of awareness and then project the amount of love that you have that they need in order to make this leap. In that, you are both softening your judgment of them, knowing very well that they do not, it is not that they are without their free will, of course they are, but the perceptions and the ideas and the concepts and the fears and the sorrows and the pain that they have within them is making their journey to what would be an awakening, what would be an understanding of isness or oneness, slightly more difficult than yours. And so in that difficulty, what does one need? One needs help and support. And the help and support is not in a condescending manner. Look at me, I am grand and I can't arrive at awakening before you. This is how you do it. No, it is through the understanding and compassion that you can send this love. Each and every being on this planet, no matter what behaviors they have, is your child, is yourself. And in that, if you can find that space in your heart for whomever it is, whatever the situation and circumstance, 
you can begin to heal and telepathically and energetically and psychically support them in plucking out of the ethers your energy that you are sending to them that makes them go, hmm, maybe I can make another choice in this moment. Thank you. So as you're speaking, um, I thought about um, often, you know, the, the people that I might be concerned about would be world leaders or people I don't know personally. Um, it sounds like praying for them um, and offering love and compassion. Um, how does that fit with their higher being making their, their own choices? Yes. So. It is indeed a form of praying, but as opposed to praying for them, we would ask you to see if the words praying with them could be a more comfortable term in that their higher being is having the same exact desire as you. They are presented with more catalyst, with more challenge and a perhaps harder playing field to come to that realization. It is not the higher self that holds free will. It is the human incarnation self that has the ability to not listen to the higher self. And in each choice in which you decide that your higher self does not have the best interest of you in mind, it becomes slightly harder to listen. You know this also from personal experience, even not faced with, for example, the types of conditions that some of the people you are referring to have faced in their lives, but they have spent lives being told or being in experiences that show them that listening to that whisper of peace or love or oneness that is within them is not appropriate or not safe even for them to attempt. And so you are in collaboration with their higher self. But here is also the secret. Their higher self is also in collaboration with yours in that the decisions that their higher self made to place them in a circumstance and situation where they would have behaviors that were so out of alignment is in direct contract with you and your higher self because the agreement goes like this. I, as one who can be judged in a version of villain, take on the role of being disconnected with my higher self in order to be a player in the causing of catalyst, circumstance, and situation for you, one who is reaching for balance and unity consciousness, in order for you to be able to look at me, have judgment of me, and then at some point decide that that is not serving and let go of that judgment for me so that you can move even further into unconditional love. In return, you moving even forward further into unconditional love will give me the stimulus to be able to see through my own personal veil and in that moment regain my sovereignty of being able to understand that we are all one cease any behaviors that i have done in the past that are harmful to other selves forgive myself come to a space of understanding that everything that i have done has been because of a misunderstanding within my beinghood and in my own turn, ascend to another version where I am also understanding unconditional love. This is a direct relationship. Thank you. That's a very um, comprehensive answer. Thank you. Um, we thank you. Thank you so much for watching and for being here on this journey with me and Vagrian. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's a wonderful way to help me to continue creating all this content. It also helps the algorithm know that we'd like to share Vagrian's message with the rest of the collective. I do try to respond to every comment on this YouTube channel, so make sure that you do, and I hope to see you here again soon.